Hi, welcome you all on Europedia Education and you know we are uh, basically moving ahead with the <coughs> series of uh, questions uh, which is thousand uh, most probable question for the gate exam and you are watching the sixth video or thermodynamics. So many thermodynamics mein alag -alag concepts I have already discussed with you entropy, first law, second law, what's up in this video I am going to discuss with you some concept related to available energy, which is availability bhi bolte hai, availability function for closed and open system, then availability functions for chemical reactions, which is give function and hand board function. Bhi bolte hai, irreversibility kya hota hai, iske mein hum discuss karenge. Now, how to calculate irreversibility and how it is related to the concept of delta S generation or entropy change of universe that we will see and delta S system, delta S surrounding, wo kaise related hai. So that all things we are going to discuss in this particular video. So uh, let's go for uh, uh, now some questions, which 10 questions I have uh, basically chosen for this particular test. And as I told you in this video, uh, take 15 minutes, uh, 15 minutes may try to solve these 10 questions and seven should be correct. Try and you should get that. So this is a system given to us uh, uh, where uh, the reservoir is maintained at 127 degrees centigrade, sink is 27 degrees centigrade, heat energy flow is 100 kilojoule to 90 kilojoule and you have to calculate what is the irreversibility involved in this. So the concept is irreversibility is nothing but it is a difference of maximum work minus actual work. That is the actual meaning of irreversibility but it can be calculated as T naught ambient temperature into delta S generation and what is delta S generation is delta S universe and what is delta S universe delta S1 plus delta S2 is called delta S universe. So is tarike se humara irreversibility ka concept is added. Go for second question now. In the second question now uh, you have to find out the loss of available energy if uh, there is a heat energy of 100 kilojoule flows from high temperature body to low temperature body. So this is 127 degrees centigrade, this is 27 degrees centigrade and 100 kilojoule heat energy flows from source to sink. So what is the loss of available energy? You know available energy is a concept which is related to I told you uh, how much is the maximum theoretical possible work I can extract from Q. If I have Q heat energy, to so I maximum theoretical work kitna nikal sakta hon, that is called available energy. But uh, theoretical work reversibly nikalna is one part but when you calculate it, the system should be brought to dead state. So compared to dead state, mein kitna work nikal sakta hon, that is to be calculated in this particular case. That is the meaning of it. Third question is there is a water which is 1 kilogram water maintained at 27 degrees centigrade. It is adiabatically mixed with 1 kilogram of water at 77 degrees centigrade. So you have to find the irreversibility involved in this particular case. You know whenever heat energy flows from high temperature to low temperature, it is irreversible process. So in this case, you have to calculate delta S for system, delta S for surrounding and hence delta S generation and from there you have to calculate irreversibility. Combustion chamber wall of engine of motorcycle is given which is maintained at 200 degrees centigrade and there is a rate of heat rejected by combustion chamber to ambience which is 100 uh, sorry 1000 watt. You have to find the irreversibility if ambient temperature is 25 degrees centigrade in watt. So you have to find that. Anyhow so uh, this is the basically question in which uh, there is a uh, high temperature body which is maintained at 200 degrees centigrade and if there is a body at high temperature heat will certainly flow from that high temperature body to uh, ambience and you have to find out in that heat energy what is the irreversibility involved. Next is there is a 10 kg of heat is supplied to 1 kg of water uh, which is maintained at room temperature. So when you supply the uh, heat energy to water you have to find out what is the irreversibility involved in this transfer of heat energy. So 10 kilojoule heat is supplied to 1 kg of water which is maintained at 27 degrees centigrade. All the data is given to us, you have to calculate what is irreversibility. Right? Next question is, there is air which expands uh, from state 1 which is 5 bar 500 Kelvin to state 2 1 bar 400 Kelvin. Ambient condition is 1 bar 300 Kelvin. You have to calculate what is the maximum useful work. So CP is given to us, CV is given to us, R is given to us and we have to find out what is the maximum useful work. Okay, so this question may be related to uh, 
difference of basically availability function of closed system so you know there's a availability function of closed system availability function of open system now there's a carnot cycle given to us working between maximum temperature minimum temperature this one is maximum temperature this one is minimum temperature this is the t naught and you have to tell that which area is telling you available energy which area is uh, ex explaining you unavailable energy so how this available and unavailable energies are related this is what you have to tell next question is availability function of closed system can be written as what so he has given you four choices you have to tell which of these expressions explain you availability function of closed system so as i told you there is availability function of closed system availability function of open system and you have to tell which expression is basically availability function of the closed system okay which of the following is true availability is reversible is the reversible work available energy is maximum useful work available energy is maximum work obtainable from system with respect to ambience availability function at ambience is zero right this is how we are to <clears throat> find out now that means this question is more or less uh, based upon difference of available energy and availability function you see availability and available energy is same thing but availability function is a function state point function at one state you can calculate it which of the following is not true for gibbs function and helmholtz function gibbs and helmholtz function are basically the uh, functions which are calculated for chemical reactions and their difference uh, calculate the maximum work or maximum useful work so you need to consider these functions for uh, basically calculation of the maximum work or maximum useful work in case of chemical reaction so i am very sure these are the 10 questions you people will be in position to solve it the detailed solution as you get as you know that is available on nimbus learning that is our basically channel for solutions of uh, gate questions uh, just do this 10 questions within um, let's say 15 minutes and see what you get so you should be in position to hit 7 correct 0 incorrect and see the detailed solution later fine thank you